What's up everyone? This is Bill with BLR Tuning. You guys know what time it is. Got a little quick video for you guys. Uh, this is involving the DinoJet PowerVision 3. And uh, today I'm just going to be walking you through how to update your firmware. And this is uh, very important, um, especially if we're doing custom tuning, stuff like that. Um, the tuning work that we're doing is built based on the newest firmware out. So it's very important if we're sending you a new tune or if you're downloading a tune off of DinoJet's website, wherever you're getting a tune from for your PV3, no matter what vehicle, um, you need to make sure your firmware is up to date. Okay, so you can download the firmware through DinoJet's website directly, and um, I'll put a link in the description below to do that. Or if I'm sending you a tune, um, if your PV3 needs updated, I will usually include a PV3 update firmware file and instructions on how to update that firmware. So this is to cover that part of it, um, how to grab the firmware from an email and uh, download it to your PV3 and then update your PV3. Okay, so I'm walking you through it. It's a very simple process. So you can see here we have an email. Uh, this is the email I created. All right, so this is going to be representing the email I sent you with your tune in it. Uh, we have a firmware update file. It's going to end with DFU. Okay, as of right now during this video, 4.8. This is the newest firmware out. So you can see it ends with .dfu right here. Okay, and then we're using Gmail. Uh, this would be the same no matter what email you're using. Just different email clients have different ways of downloading stuff. So if we go over to Gmail, this is how it looks. So you can see here we have a download file folder. So we can download this directly to the computer if we can't figure, if it doesn't ask us where we want to save it to, when you click on download, it's going to save it uh, most likely in downloads. Um, sometimes, depending on how you have it set up, it'll save in documents. Okay, so, but uh, what we're going to do is make it real simple, okay? So we're going to take our PV3. So you can see I have the unit right here. We're going to use the provided USB cable, and we're going to plug it into our PV3. Okay, I'm going to set this off to the side here so you guys can kind of see it on camera here. Okay, if this window opens, you can just exit off of it. Okay, so now we're going to go over here. We have our email open. We have our PB3 plugged in. We're going to hit download. You can see there, as soon as I click on it, it opens file folder. My computer asks me where I want to save it to. Your computer may download it automatically, and it will be under downloads. And if that's the case, then you would click right here. You see up here on the left where it says downloads? Okay, that's where it's going to save to most likely. Most, most computers is where it'll save to. I just have it set up so it asks me. Okay, so... We'll put it in downloads just so I can show you guys. But if it did ask you, if it came up with this, said, where do you want to save it to? You can just go down here and we can double click on Power Vision and save it right to there. But we'll save it to downloads because that's what's going to happen to most of you. But again, if not, you can just save it right to here. Okay, double click on Power Vision, this top one right below C Drive. And save it right in that main directory. We're going to say to save it in downloads. It's most likely that's where it's going to go for everybody. Okay, and you can see over here showing that it's downloaded. Okay, we're now done with the email client. We can exit off the of email. Okay, now we can go to our file explorer, which is going to be down here in this drop down bar. Okay, it's going to double click on it and it should open like this. We're going to go downloads. Okay, move this up just a little bit so you guys can see it there. Okay, now we're looking for that DFU file. And it's usually, your stuff will show up like this, like it says today. But if not, it'll probably be down here somewhere at the bottom. Okay. So we can see it's right here. We can click on it once to highlight it. Now we can see PB3 4.8. Now if we go over here to on the left, and we scroll down, you can see Power Vision here. Okay, that's where we need it to go. We don't want to click on this. What we're going to do is we're going to right click, grab, we're going to hold it, and now we're going to drag it right here to Power Vision. We're going to let go, and we're going to go copy here. Okay, you'll probably get this little window that pops up. 
showing that it's moving it. So he's taking his time. That's fine. Okay. Okay, now we've moved that over. We can exit off of this. We are now ready to go to the PV3 itself to update the uh, PV3 firmware. Okay, so I have my PV3 here. This is called the gauge screen, or this would be actually the home screen, but it's called the gauge screen. Okay, so now we'll hit the big button. This is always going to be enter. Okay, we're going to go down here to device tools. And now we're going to scroll down. We're using these up and down arrows to scroll down. And you can always use the back arrow to go back. We're going to go update device. And you can see there, we have a few different firmwares. But we have this 4.8 DFU file right here. So we're going to click on it. Update device. Are you sure you want to update this device? We're going to hit enter. It's going to say updating. Writing. Just let it finish what it's doing. It's going to power back on. If that screen opens in the background on your uh, desktop, just exit off of it. That's fine. Okay, we are now up to date. So now we can go back in here to device tools, device information, and you'll see there, FW version 4.8. Okay, that is how you update the firmware on your PV3. Okay, you go all the way back to the home screen. Now, on our Windows computer, we need to make sure we exit correctly. Okay, so back to our Windows computer. We still have our PV3 plugged in. We have not unplugged it yet. You need to make sure this is essential, okay? You have to unplug it correctly. So if we go down here to the little drop down bar, you can see this one shows up here, uh, maybe on the side on your computer. You'll see an upside down V, this little arrow. We're gonna click on that arrow. And now we're gonna see a little USB icon. We're gonna click on that. And now right there, it says eject power vision. We're gonna click on that. On this computer, it just disappeared. Some computers might say safe to remove, remove hard drive or safe to remove device. As long as you don't see this USB icon anymore, if you do see the USB icon, as long as power vision is not listed as an item plugged in. So now the PV3 assumes that it is no longer plugged into the computer. You can see here, now it is safe to remove. You'll hear it disconnect. We are now good to go. We now have our firmware updated. Now we can go flash our new custom tune over to our vehicle. Okay, so that is how you update the firmware on your PV3. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Ride safe. Reach out to us if you want custom tuning done for your vehicle. Anything EFI, we offer tuning work for it. We can use Power Vision, Power Commander, uh, Bazaz Fuel Controller, Ficon F1. Um, there's a whole long list of devices that we use to do tuning work on an EFI running vehicle. Okay. Links in the description to get a hold of me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.